I saw you in the offer and it, it just blew me away. It blew me away. I was like this because I don't, you don't get to be serious as much as you get to be kind of funny guy. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. But boy, I mean, they gave me a chance. Well, they always say, uh, comedy's harder, right? As an actor, so like, comedy's harder. Serious is easier. I, I I always felt like that too. Do you feel like that? Yeah, absolutely. Because yeah, you don't have to. Uh, comedy is like math. You have to. You have to hit. It's like music. If you don't hit the right chords, if you don't hit the right tone, they're not going to laugh, and it's just like it doesn't work, you know. So it's it's a real art, but drama. You can just be, yeah. You know, if the word not making anyone laugh, you just you just are, um, and that could be funny too. You can find some dark, hysterical moments in there, but it's a lot easier. Yeah. Um, Coppola, man, he's he's a serious dude, and yeah, Jesus. So that was like, and he's he's obviously an iconic legend, alive. Um, it was a lot, it was big shoes to step into and, um, and he, and he can be kind of funny, you know, in, in some ways. So you met I him? Always, no, but I feel like, um, <laughs> I've funny. seen, I've seen him, you know, he's eccentric, uh, mm-hmm. and he's passionate and, you know, he, <laughs> like, he, there are moments in apocalypse now that are surreally hysterical um a heart and like hearts of darkness you watch him in that but he's in apocalypse now and that moment is so surreal and hysterical where he's just all don't look at me look keep going yeah look at the- <laughs> yeah fuck? yeah i remember that it's just like you know it takes it takes a a darkly comedic mind to no he he it, that's an opera. Like the Godfather is an opera. He creates like Dracula's are, are these like operas. And so you have to hit every note on the piano. You have to hit every uh, color on the palette. Like that's what he does. So there is this, there's a little comedy and everything. And <clears throat> the offer, I, I don't tell you to watch a lot of things. This is a great series. If you've never heard of it, it's sort of like how the Godfather movie came to be, how it was made, and all the difficulties, the adversity they faced, which I had no idea the shit that this movie almost went down, went under so many times. And the stories are so fascinating that you're like, this can't be true. And then you start looking shit up after you're watching. You're like, wow, this is true. This happened. Yeah. Yeah, life is even stranger than fiction. Um, yeah, and the show had did kind of um, squeeze in a couple a couple years of history there, um, but there was there's, I'd say about you know eighty five percent of that show is are real things that happened and real um, like every day was a battle just to make the movie yeah uh like like first um like coppola first coppola didn't want to make it he was just like i don't know i don't, I don't like how it makes italians look and and then like the legend is is that uh george lucas was just like dude they're gonna they're gonna shut this place down they're gonna shut they're gonna lock the doors of american zoetrope you gotta do this movie so it's just like he was like okay and and then um, in meeting Mario Puzo, he just um, found this kindred spirit who was just like this, you know, other because um, he's a, basically a writing genius. Coppola is a, it was a writing genius in his own right. He wrote Patton, won the Academy Award for that. And so he really hit it off with with Mario and and. Um, and f- from them, they really pared down the gold from that novel. Uh, and those are some of my favorite scenes. Oh, with yeah. Patrick. When you're with Puzo, Puzo and just yeah. sitting there and have a sandwich with a sandwich thing. And the yeah, it's just it's it's hilarious. And you're like, how are they going to do this? How are they going to get yeah. anything done? 
See, it's funny. There's there's funny moments. It's, Absolutely. It's like, yeah, they're uh the two of them, the two of them are a great odd couple in a lot of ways. Yeah. Puzo is just like <laughs> it's you know sloppy and Coppola's just like stay on stay on target. <laughs> yeah. 